Hey, what's up, bunch of savages? Savage Mister here. I'm going right there. Six Flags, boom. I'm going to go and try to participate in what is called the world's largest snowball fight. Let's go see what happens. They're calling it Six Flags Snow Day, presented by Hallmark Channel. The park doesn't open until noon, but let me see how early they'll let us park. Already, here we are, two and a half hours until the park opens. And there's already this many people, so we'll see. Yikes. I think I just got myself stuck. I don't think this lane is going through, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull up with these people and blah, blah, blah. But now I've got all the time in the world to look it over the details and see what's what. When I first pulled up uh, this lane I was in, I can see a cone in front of it, but all the lanes are stopped at this point, you know, where this cone is in front of this car. And um, I could over, uh, overhear people going, that lane over there is for parking only. You don't park in this lane anywhere. You don't park here. Now, it's, it's just like these lanes where you go into parking, but um, they had me confused. I heard this lady ask a, a worker that was over beside me. She was like, is this a parking lane? Which doesn't make sense. It's kind of, you know, that kind of, it's kind of open-ended. Like parking, what do you mean? Parking in this lane only or go, uh, the lane going to parking? So it's, but I think he misunderstood her and he was like, yes, yeah, parking lane only. So she went back and was like, this is for parking only. You, you can't drive through here. You can't get through here, you know. And these other people were going, well, I'm not that generous. These people are all going to want to squeeze over in front of us and all sassy. I'm like, man, where's your Christmas spirit, you a-holes, you know? But, um, but yes, I can get through. So I said, dude, I'm like, if this is, if this is for some kind of parking or something only, why wasn't there a sign back there saying that I couldn't get through? He goes, no, no, you can get through. It's, there's a, you're going to go, this lane goes right to one of the, the, uh, booths, you know, to, for, to pay for parking or whatever. So I'm like, okay. So there was a misunderstanding there, but it's just people are like, I'm not letting anybody through today. You just stay on my bumper and I'll, you know, sassy mother people, rude folks, man. And proud of themselves too for being rude. I'm not letting people in. Damn. Looking in my mirror there, there's a car back there, like a minivan, who's decided to cut this lane off. Because you can see there's lots of space between that red car and this car behind me. I think they decided that this lane doesn't go through and they take it upon themselves to block the lane with their car and they're not even in the car anymore. It's 10:20. The natives are getting restless. There are people back there complaining about this whole car situation. It looks like. Listen. Oh my God! These people are morons. This guy coming along here was bitching at that lady back there. Wow. Well, actually, she was bitching at him. He was like. <laughs> Fun times, man. They're saying, can we get a security guard back there? Here he comes. Security guard. And now they've got security back there. Dealing with the situation. I heard loads of screams. Get away from my car. Don't stand by my car. And all this kind of thing. I don't know. Don't tell me what to do. I know it's probably have a, has a lot to do with they don't want to put workers in the boots too soon. But my gosh, this is part of the reason why they should just let us through, let us park, and all this stuff, well, could be avoided. People will still be standing at the gates, probably fighting. There's more security going back there, and it looks like that lady got in her car finally. She's finally going to move it. So annoying. Creating problems where there's not one. She's moved her car, but now she's gotten out. It's probably going to cause problems. Yeah, I'm recording you. What are you going to do? I guess the security guy's got it sorted. Here comes one. There's one security dude. Here comes two more. Security dude right there. As soon as they open the gate. Hey, when are we gonna be able to park? Why don't you just be loud, lady? If she wants to get loud, I can get loud too. Oh yes, I can get very loud. He 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 he. I see one that's turned green. It's very festive. Green and red. 
one green and all the rest are red. Come on, all green, all green. There's a second one that's green. People are honking. There was some honking, and this person over here in this freaking monster truck was revving up their engine. Like, gentlemen, stock your engines. Now they're all green. They're all green now. Let's run. Here we go. Rev it up, bro. Rev it up. Rev it up. It's ready to go. I'm just picking up the cones. There we go. We are off. And we're off. I'm in the outside lane, and I'm going to have a new... Hello. Thank you. Alright, you stay fine. savage. There are lots of people there waiting for the gate to open. Oh my. Alright, I made it through. Got my wristband for the uh, snowball fight. They were giving away pieces of paper for a free hot chocolate, which I opted out for. Usually hot chocolates aren't sweet enough for me. I need extra sugar. So, I've opted out. Opted out. But I, w I saw everybody getting the uh, piece of paper for the hot chocolate, but I wasn't seeing this. Maybe this is the free gift. I don't know what it is, but it's this Hallmark Channel Heart of TV reusable warmer. Oh, okay. You heat it up and it'll be a hand warmer. That's pretty awesome. Skin. Thank you. All right. We're inside. Thing is, nobody knows what section it's going to be in or anything. So we'll find out. Here's a lovely thing. Ooh, it's, sh it's carved out of ice. Check this out. That's real ice. It's dripping. You can see it. See if you can see the dripping. Yeah. They've carved Hallmark in there. They've carved Six Flags Snow Day in there. Really cool. The funny thing to me is there was so much aggression going on out in the parking lot before we parked. It could turn into a real fight. Wouldn't that be funny? Those people that were battling each other in the parking lot that had to call security, they're going to find each other and they're going to throw some fists instead of snowballs. We're getting corralled through here first and then it opens up again. I see piles of snowballs right there. These are basically plush snowballs. They're not real snow. Now they're passing out the snowballs. They've got a GoPro on the ladder here. I would love to be able to put my camera somewhere up here like that. I didn't have my camera on, but she tossed me a ball and it hit me. So I was the first one to get hit with a snowball. Woohoo! <laughs> it's just like a plush snowball. Pretty cool. So they've got a GoPro up there. Boom. And probably another one somewhere else. But there's also a 360 camera right here, which is cool. So it's going to it's gonna catch all this. It's going to capture it. It's going to be cool. I wonder if we can keep these as a souvenir. That'd be cool. Put With Snowball Fight 2017 on it or something. Flag. I feel safe. I've got France backing me up, right? We'll see how it goes. Wait, France doesn't back anybody. What are we talking about? Oh, we're screwed. There's so many more coming in that we're getting pushed down again. Let me pick a target over there. We're getting pushed down yet again. Glasses recording. Check. Six other Six Flags parks across the country that are doing this at the same time. Alright, here we go! Five, four, three, two, one! Yeah! Whoa! Yeah! I got it! Here's some back here. Here's one. <laughs> yeah, boom! Snowballs everywhere! Woohoo! <laughs> All right. Boom! Oh, I missed. Boom! I missed again. Oh, snowball! Go get the snowball! <laughs> boom! Here's one. Boom! Oh, I beat the kid right in the head. I got him. He didn't see it coming and bean. <laughs> I made the kid right in the head. I got him.
Oh, that's fun. Oh, I almost caught one. Oh, I almost caught one. Let's see if I can get this kid again. I almost got the same kid. Oh, man, that's just fun. That is fun right there. Uh-oh. I think we're done. Souvenir. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, man. <laughs> We're supposed to stop now. <laughs> Souvenir! Yay! <laughs> They're still going down here. That was some good exercise. Holy mackerel. Chasing snowballs down to pick them up to go again. <laughs> Somebody's still throwing. If you guys want to People are still throwing them. There we go. That's pretty awesome. People showing up in pajamas. I like it. They're actually wearing pajamas. <laughs> All right. I've got my JBs. The barbecue brisket sandwich, which is. If you don't know yet, it's the best thing they offer out here that I've found. And some people agree. Mike, you're one of them. You agree. Um, right, so I'm gonna go eat. And if you're new here, you don't know what happens whenever I'm gonna go eat. Oh, this is kind of harsh, but you've gotta shut up. All right, I'll see you in a bit. I'm still eating, but I was just noticing that in the sun, when this thing is clean, this snowball, it's really cool. It's, of course, it's a fluffy, you know, kind of thing, but it has this stuff inside of it where the texture, it falls under your fingers. It feels like the stuffing inside kind of has that texture, like it's really snow or something. And it actually glistens in the sun, if you can see that. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you can see it in real life. It's really cool. Bro, here. Here's some french fries. Come and get it. I'm leaving. I'm out. What the function I'm going to is another meetup for uh, Dallas YouTubers. I'm gonna go see the gang and see what we can come up with for the future, future vlogs. And uh, you'll see that in the next video. Maybe. I don't know. But for now, that's it. I'll see y'all later and y'all stay savage.